A bill that would create a standard civil rights curriculum focused on the work of Dr. Martin Luther King has passed in the Senate. But not everyone agrees House Bill 1397 is a good idea. And as education reporter Taylor Jackson tells us, you might be surprised at who is opposed to the legislation. We have a due pass from Senator Murdoch, a second from Senator Daniels. House Bill 1397 advanced last week when the Senate Education Committee passed the measure. Representative Mark LePac, who authored the bill, says House Bill 1397 would make available a civil rights curriculum through the State Department of Education. It's a semester course. One is geared towards the sixth grade. Uh, that can either be used as a standalone course or as a... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, additive or complementary to what we already have. The curriculum would focus on the civil rights movement from 1954 to 1968. LePac says the coursework has already been developed. I thought that this was an opportunity to flesh out what's in some of our standards. We cover the Martin Luther King Civil Rights Movement, Letter from Birmingham, some of those kinds of things. But some lawmakers are opposed to the bill. Members of the Oklahoma Legislative Black Caucus say House Bill 1397 waters down black history because it focuses on a small portion of the civil rights era. First of all, it doesn't begin in that time period that someone else is trying to tell us these are the areas that we need to focus on. There was great civil rights work done before that time period and the civil rights battle, the fight is not over. Representative Regina Goodwin says giving the curriculum to the State Department of Education is concerning because of its new leadership. I would not trust uh, the Secretary of State, Ryan Walters, uh, to handle that curriculum. Don't trust that because he's been very clear that he does not want us to learn about equity. He does not want us to talk about culture um, uh, you know, diversity, all of those words he literally, uh, to some degree, has had stricken from curriculum this year. Those are his efforts. But Representative LePac says Walters is aware of the curriculum and approves of the coursework. I have talked with him about this, and actually he, he likes this approach, as did Superintendent Hoffmeister when I talked with her about it. Uh, a while back. Goodwin wants students to understand that nonviolent protest doesn't always end in peaceful agreement. You have to ask yourself, why is it that someone wants to supposedly teach our youth that they need to follow the philosophy of Dr. Martin Luther King when we're being choked out on the streets, being shot in the forehead, right? We're seeing some folks that just literally get away with murder in 2023. Additional questions? Senator Hicks, you recognize for question. Senator Kerry Hicks questioned if House Bill 1397 would contradict House Bill 1775 during last week's Senate Education Committee meeting. But 1775 specifically said um, or outlawed the prohibition on teaching um, that hatred on the basis of immutable characteristics, and I'm reading now from the language of the bill, including not just race or ethnicity, but also characteristics such as nationality, religious belief, to feel that that will be in violation of House Bill 1775. As I recall the uh, author of that bill on the floor in the Senate uh, referenced uh, some of the things that I am referring to in this particular bill. And he stated that these are the type of things that we need to have being taught in our schools. And so, no, I don't see any conflict whatsoever. Hicks says since the passage of 1775, educators have felt uneasy when it comes to teaching history. Now in the climate that we find ourselves uh, where educators feel very unsure uh, of whether or not they can engage kiddos in critical conversations surrounding race. Since the passage of House Bill 1775, confusion over the law's language caused confusion amongst many Oklahomans in and out of the classroom. I still think there are folks that are that are misreading what the intent of that was. And I thought, well, I didn't intend it this way, but this is a course that's built in a way that maybe shows you how you can teach difficult topics and focus on what I'll call the right things. The bill's Senate author, Senator Bergstrom, hopes the curriculum might help create peace among students. We desperately need more peacemakers today. Uh, like I said, I grew up in that era. I recall very well the news of Dr. King's assassination and its aftermath. 
It was terrible. Turns out, though, fortunately, I was dramatically impacted by his words and by his legacy. I consider him a hero. The bill now waits to be heard on the Senate floor. Taylor Jackson, The Oklahoma News Report.